If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 8, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trending here, bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over the evolution of XSX Tentacion. But before we do, I just want to say I am a little bit sick right now, so if I do sound a little weird or I miss say some words, it's just because I have a little bit of a cold. So just try not to mind that too much. But before we get into the video, I got to give the channel shout out of the video. That's going to this guy right here on the screen. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for being active on the channel and following the rules. If you guys want a channel shout out, start of my next video to help you gain subscribers. All you guys have to do is leave a like on the video, turn on channel notifications, and then comment something you like about XXX Tentacion. But also make sure you guys watch this video fully through because I'm going to be hiding two free Amazon gift card codes for you guys to win. Now in this video I'll be talking about the evolution of XXX Tentacion and what he accomplished each year with also showing you guys some songs that he early released in his career. These songs you may have never heard before so it will be something new to hear from X. XXX Tentacion started making music back in 2014. But before we get into that, let me tell you about his earlier life and just his basic info that every fan should know. So X was born January 23rd, 1998 in Florida. He was born to an American mother and a Jamaican father. X's real name is Jazzy Dwayne Onfroy. I don't know if I said that right or wrong. I'm gonna have it up on the screen. Apparently I say it wrong every video, but I don't know. He was mostly raised by his grandmother when he wasn't in youth programs, but also now that you guys know a little bit about his earlier life, it'll make more sense about the rest of this stuff, so let's get right into the year 2014 when X started making music for the first time. So starting in the year 2014, this was the year X started making music after he spent a year in a juvenile detention center for possession charges. While in detention program, he met his best friend Ski Mask. Well, they really aren't that much of friends anymore, but besides the point, during their time together, they became really good friends friends and used freestyling over handmade beats as an outlet during the time in detention. Once released from the detention center, X and Ski Mask met up again under the belief that they were actually going to commit a string of crimes for money. Now X didn't like really say if they actually did the crimes, but X ended up did getting some money so he could have. With the money that he got, he actually bought a blue snowball microphone which is actually the one I'm using right now. He bought one and started recording music with it. At this time, he named himself XXX Tentacion on SoundCloud and released his first song called Vice City. It didn't matter back then because there was no reacting, acting up. Chevy and Black. Accurate, accurate, fact with the black. In fact, if you thought that you were free, you should disregard that. All fact. Young Exeter. Call me a young Dexter. My hypothesis is. X liked making music because it was an escape from the real world in his mind and it helped him stay out of trouble. X would make little snippets of songs and then upload them to SoundCloud, at this time hoping people would listen to them and give good feedback. If a song got good feedback on the snippet part, he would then finish the song and then make it public on SoundCloud. So that's why if you like look around on SoundCloud, you'll see little 30 second songs of X that you may have never heard before and that's because he never actually finished the song because he didn't get good feedback at the time. So for the year 2015, this is the year that X would start making mixtapes and collaborating a lot with other rappers that were also on the come up in his area. In 2015, X made his first ever mixtape, whatever you like to call it, called The Fall, and even made a volume two in the same year. Just take a listen to one of the songs on the album right here. Now I do gotta admit, making this video is actually pretty cool because I am a I am a pretty big fan of X. So like making all these like types of videos on him on my channel. If you guys don't know, I make a lot of rappers videos, doing a bunch of research on rappers and then listening to their really older stuff and just seeing how they were on the come up is actually really cool. You guys, I highly suggest you if you guys ever like are a fan of someone, 
Go do some like research on them. It's pretty cool what you'll find. So now we're going to be going into the year 2016. Now this was a pretty bad year for X. Just to start it off, he was arrested and charged with robbery after posting a $10,000 bail. X continued to work on his debut album called Bad Vibes Forever, which was supposed to be released in October, but the album missed the release date because X was being arrested in early October on charges of false imprisonment, witness tampering, and battery. Now this is also the year X decided to quit his job to focus on music and start building up his career. Now his mom really was scared of him doing this. He had to tell his mom that everything would work out in the long run and it actually ended up did. So I'm really happy for that. Another thing that I really found out when doing all this research is that X has a really, really close relationship with his mom, which is really cool. But anyways, here's one of the songs that he released in 2016. <laughs> I reckon, think about the people who own it for about a second I know you got your problem, but brother, they got theirs This is not a gang, cause violence and grow up bad, but show You about to hear me say, black president, let's move different races, throw hate in the form of Alright guys, so now we're gonna be going into the year 2017 Now this was the biggest year by far for X. Now this is the year X re-released his song Look At Me that was originally made in actually 2015 which is crazy to me. I had no idea that that was actually a thing but yes the song Look At Me was actually made in 2015. He re-released it and then the song ended up peaking at number 34 on US Billboard Hot 100 and then also top 40 on the Canadian Hot 100. Every rapper was shouting out X for this really hit song on Instagram Live, Twitter, all that good stuff. It helped boost his song and his popularity by a lot. It helped boost the song's popularity by a lot, but what actually gained him the most and the song the most popularity was from the accusations that Drake used a similar flow in his song KMT that was on his album. And honestly, it does kind of sound like Drake stole his flow, but that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion about that. Honestly, I think he did because the song was absolutely blowing up and I guess Drake really was bumping it and then kind of just made the same beat. On April 18th, 2017, X was released from prison and he released three more songs on SoundCloud for all of his new fans. While he was in jail, he actually gained a lot of fans. I'm pretty sure he gained like 800,000 followers on Instagram while in jail. X then announced his first nationwide tour that starts on April 28th titled The Revenge Tour. XXXTentacion was also then picked for the XXL freshman class. I bet a ton of you guys watched his freestyle and it was definitely different from the regular freestyle, but honestly, I liked it because it was definitely a change that XXL really needed. On August 25th, he released his major label debut album called 17. This album actually debuted on number 2 on the Billboard 200, selling 86,000 units the first week. This was one of my favorite albums by far. I listen to it still every single day. I actually love this album. But anyways, I'm going to play you guys some snippets from the album right here. guys if you watched up to this point I want you guys to comment some of your favorite songs by X because if you guys comment my favorite song by him I'm gonna YouTube message one person a free Amazon gift card code anyways guys I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support lately we just hit 59,000 subscribers yesterday and we're already at 59.5 K at the time I'm making this video we're still growing every single day so if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel please do because my overall goal is to have 100k subscribers Anyways guys, it's been District Trending. I'm out. See you later. Alright guys, so if you're watching to this point, like right here, you probably saw my comment about the big announcement that's going on. And I actually recently just started up my own gaming channel. Now if you guys don't like already know, this actually used to be a gaming channel. But I do want to start another gaming channel because I do kind of miss it. So I will have a link down in the description below of a channel. My channel name before was Dasty. I'm going to have the same name. So guys, make sure you guys go subscribe to that channel. Because if you guys subscribe to that channel, I see you being active on that channel. I'm going to be giving you like a little bit more leverage on winning the giveaway for this month. So you guys go make sure you guys go subscribe to my gaming channel so I'll be uploading like Call of Duty, Competitive, Trick Shotting, all the stuff I used to do. Just going to be over there. So if you guys like video games and stuff like that, make sure you guys go over there.